All right, good evening, everybody. Tonight we're going to go ahead and be tying a uh, Y2K pattern. I have a lot of success with this in the Chattahoochee. We're starting off with a uh, size 14 caddis type hook with a uh, 5 30 seconds gold bead on the head here, and we're using uh, uh, Danville's flat wax hot pink thread. This is a good thread for these kinds of patterns. It doesn't detract too much from the egg style to it, and uh, if you want, you can tie a little bit of uh, wrap around the heads to go ahead and add up a hot spot as well. So we're going to go ahead and start by tying a bit of a thread body here. Go ahead and work this down a little ways. We're going to trim off this tag end here, go a little bit further down the shaft, and wrap back up, trying to give ourselves a bit of a body to build on. Now, a lot of folks you'll see will post videos stating that you should go ahead and put some beadhead cement on here or some of the quicker UV cement. Uh, that's a complete and utter waste of time. At least fishing down here in the south on the Chattahoochee, you're going to find that your flies are going to get hit by fish. They're going to be beat up on the bottom. They're going to get tied up on debris. Good chance if you're fishing these right on a hopper dropper rig, you're going to lose a few during the course of a day. No point in wasting a whole lot of time in trying to tie these up. You want to do them quick, easy, cheap, so you can do a bunch of them, fish hard, catch a lot of fish all day, and that's what really matters. So we're going to be using uh, two sections of McFly foam here. We have white and yellow, pretty standard color pattern for uh, these down here, though I like to go ahead and mix them up along with some of this color, the darker pink. Um, go ahead and use some of the brighter orange. You know, never hesitate, never hurts to go ahead and have a mix in your box there. So we're going to lie one on each side here. Oops, bring this thread back a little bit right back behind the head. We don't want to be quite up on the head yet because we're going to need to tie on there in just a minute. So we're going to lay one on each side here. You'll see different approaches to this. Quite frankly, I find this to be the easiest for me personally. Do a loose wrap, another loose wrap, clear it up a bit, and then pull down, tighten up, get another tight wrap or two, and we're going to clean up. So now you'll see we have uh, bit of an X-type pattern here. This is about what you're looking for. So we're going to go ahead and bring these back over this way, get them back a little bit towards the body, and now we're just going to tie up behind the head here. Like I said, I leave a little bit of a gap for myself. I like to put this little bit of pink body wrap right behind it. Um, I just like the way it looks. It seems to fish pretty well for me. Uh, if you want, you can bring your initial start up a little bit closer, bring it closer to the head. That way you don't have this gap here to go ahead and do the hot spot. So we're going to go ahead and whip finish. Trim that off. And then we're going to go ahead and pull this back. Oops, looks like I lost a little bit of thread right there. So we're going to grim this down across the hook shaft, try to get a pull back. You don't need to pull it particularly tight, we're really just grooming. And we're going to trim up, some people will say right behind the end of the hook shaft here. I like to go ahead and do some length, some will do closer up, some right about the end of the hook shaft, some a little bit further back. Just gives you a little bit of a different look and feel. So we're going to do this one just a tad behind the end of the hook shaft there. Go ahead and trim that off. And clean up our hangers, groom it back some. And there we go, we have a Y2K. Nothing fancy, nothing pretty. You'll probably find people out there that tie these a lot nicer than me, but you know what, these catch fish. For me, that's all that really matters. Thanks.